Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today I want to show you two different methods to import both the template uh, Lightroom presets files as well as the XMP files, which is kind of a new system that Adobe put in in an update. If you guys are familiar with my previous video, I taught you how to import Lightroom presets, going into preferences, locating the file folder, doing that, closing out Lightroom, coming back in. But there's a couple of methods that make this a little bit easier. So first and foremost, if you do have the .lr template files, all you want to do is be in your develop tab, click on presets and go to import presets. Now at this point, if you do have a .lr template file, such as this one that I downloaded free just today, you just want to click on that file, click import. And then after you import that, you want to uh, restart Lightroom and it should show up, which we will do in just a moment. Now, if you want to import XMP files, which is what my new Everyday 8 uh, presets pack is, you can see all those right through here. Here's how you do that. So you want to click on Lightroom at the top here and just get into your preferences. Once you get into your preferences menu, all I do is hit uh, show all other Lightroom presets and it'll bring up this file folder here within Adobe. But instead of being in Lightroom, you actually want to be in Camera Raw. And the reason for that is because these new XMP files don't work just in Adobe Lightroom. They also work in Camera Raw and Photoshop as well, which personally for me, I think is awesome. To be able to carry your presets from one program to another is pretty sweet. So what you want to do is actually go into the Settings tab here, and you're already going to see there's an Everyday 8 folder. So let's say you download a bunch of presets and you have a folder. Basically, what you would do is just drag that folder into this Settings under Camera Raw. So let me go to my desktop really quickly. You'll see here that I have the Everyday 8 Presets 12. If I click on that, it's full of my XMP files. So I could just simply drag this folder right over here, and then there we go. The presets are in there. All I have to do is restart Lightroom. But really quickly, let's go ahead and restart Lightroom just to see if that actual preset goes into this thing. So I'll go ahead and skip this, and then I'll be back with you as soon as Lightroom switches out. All right, so now that we're back in Lightroom after we've refreshed this, you can see that that new preset that I installed is here. So all we have to do is just click on that and then boom, we have our new preset. So there you go, guys. There's two simple, quick and easy ways to install both the LR template file presets, kind of the older method, as well as the XMP files, which is kind of the newer method that Lightroom's going to. And when you export your own presets, it'll kind of do that as well. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully that cleared up some of the confusion that was out there. And as always, be sure to create something new today.